is imperative, it remains imperative, that Israel put a premium on civilian protection. And there does remain a gap between exactly what, what I said when I was there, the intent to protect civilians, and the actual results that we're seeing uh, on the ground uh, over the last um, almost two years now. The United States has provided um, something north of $70 billion uh, to support Ukraine. Our European allies have provided more than $110 billion in support. So when we talk about burden sharing, this is a very powerful example of just that. These borders were settled in 1899. I see absolutely no case for unilateral action by Venezuela. It should cease. It is wrong. But I don't think I can remember a time when the need for international solidarity and action um, to, to tackle these threats has been more important for our own domestic security. I simply don't think there is in any of our countries a sort of put up the drawbridge and think you can insul insulate yourself from these problems. You can't. Our people, whether you're American or British, they live all over the world. Our businesses trade all over the world.